So welcome to Awkward, the moral choice situation game, where you probably won't talk to your friends for about a year after playing, because it shows just how weird they are. Um, so it starts off, every player picks up five of these lovely little white answer cards, and every round you have one dungeon master which changes, and two players. And um, we're going to show you that, because, you know, it's awesome. So, I am going to be the red player. Lovely assistant, Ash. Step along with Purple. You could be the fantastic unicorn. Yep. Robert and Joe, this really creepy alien. Yay. Sorry, but. Okay, and I'm going to be the dungeon master, so I get to ask the first question. Which is You wake up, and you've just discovered the perfect way to kill Hitler without any major repercussions. But for the rest of your life, everything you touch turns into Skittles. What do you do? Now, each player has to give me their funniest or the best answers. Um, and then I get to pick which one I think is the best. That player moves and gets the points. And the whole point of the game is to reach the end of the board and have the most points. Uh, and then that makes you the winner. And you get to gloat, which is fantastic. So do we have my other answers? Thank you. Okay, so. What do you do? You drop, tuck and roll. Or you summon Mecha Hitler to do your dirty work, even though he would turn into Skittles. <laughs> I hate the sound of my voice as well. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to pick Mecha Hitler there. Who was our Mecha Hitler winner? Me. Play two. So whichever player is moving, you have to click that, and then each one of these has a lovely little number on it. The bottom. Let me zoom in. And that depends how many places the player there actually moves before you actually get your point. So two in this case. So our lovely fantastic unicorn of two spaces. And then claims the floor as it and gets his first point. Woo! And then each time the dungeon master changes and goes around. So the next dungeon master would be Rob. Okay. I'm going to my cards oh. So I still hold the, the cards I have for. Yeah. Okay. So this time, um, our, our question is, on a family trip to Ikea, you decide to hide uh, in a wardrobe to escape your boredom and accidentally discover the world of Narnia. Thomas tells you if you're the chosen one, destined to save the land. What do you do? Everyone hand me the answers. Okay. So this time, my, the answers I've received are... Pronounce you couldn't wait to be king and sing along. <laughs> Or walk around licking people to claim them as your own. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the walk around licking people. Yes. Answer. <laughs> so once again, no matter what player moves, you click on that. You see that player. What's the number on the thing? Um. The question. The question. Isn't. That one. So it's oh, sorry, one. one. So I get that one. I like to move one square. Get a point. Yay! Once we're done, we're going on there. Okay. I'll pick the next question. It's 1912, and you're on a music, and you're on the Titanic, <laughs> and it starts sinking. What do you do? <laughs> You're playing as well, remember? Yep, yeah, so I am going to go for this one. You three roll. No, no. And just a quick note, once every single round, you make sure you have five cards, no matter what. Kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but not as... Actually, no, it is creepier, this one. Now that I think about it. Yeah, creepier. So, Sinking Titanic, and you can either... We've either got... Take a selfie. <laughs> appropriate, I guess. Or eat a three-week-old banana. <laughs> I'm gonna go with banana. Yes. So, that's me. I won that time. Um, okay. How long do you get to move? <laughs> That's three spaces, it's not clear enough. Wait! Hey, I'm in the lead. Okay. 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 You were accidentally put up in a police lineup as a suspected thief, and the chief witness just ID'd you as the bad guy. What do you do? I Google it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a choice of he googles it and he bings it. Which search engine do you prefer? <laughs> Basically. I think I'm going to give it to Bing just because you actually have the nerve to actually use it. And you're like the only person I ever know that actually does use it. So you get to be able to hold one square, my favorite <laughs> unicorn. I don't use it. <laughs> if two players land on the same square, it only moves once. You can only change colour once. So only one person will actually get that point. 
It's kind of a, yeah. Okay. Next DM. How do we end the game? You end the game by getting to the very last square on the board. Uh, when you do, it stops everything, and the winner is the person who has the most points. So the one who has the most multiple squares, basically. And then you get to go up forever.